Well, I think once people see this play, they'll probably never go see another one again. Well, you know, I'm not in most of them. And so obviously that's an immediate problem and a very high hurdle for them to get over. So right there, it's probably 90, 95% of the reason. I think theatre is for the people who can afford to buy the tickets. And as for everyone else, I know I'm not going to do that's for sure, so <laughs> can't speak for anyone else. It was mostly the money. Which, by the way, we still haven't talked about that. Is that something... Well, you know, story of my life, to be honest. I mean, really, pretty much anything I do, I'm obviously better than the other people around me, including, may I just say, this interview right now. The main piece of advice I'd give them is not to be on any play where I am, because obviously, in comparison, there's really nothing they can do. I would say, seek mediocrity and stay there. I suppose um, a good job that's a very nice mesh uh, with being an actor is being a TSA officer at the airports. You know, flexible hours, you get to portray really unpleasant characters. You told me to stop touching the other actors. You've told me that like three or four times now. So wait, you're telling me I can touch them? You're talking about probing deeper? Yes. Into their, bo into their bodies? Their feelings. Into their feelings. Yeah, I, I don't do those sorts of films. Thank okay, you. Good. No, it's not something I do. Probably David Toff. Okay. <sighs> you know, it's a hard one for me to answer because honestly, I don't really go to the theater. I find the whole thing very dull and uninteresting. Um, but I suppose if I had to say anyone, I would say Sir John Gielgud. Well, I guess Larry. It would always have to be Larry.